If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com, and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and today, I'm going to be going over the fastest way to earn Series 1 trophies. Now, I wanted to make this video earlier up in the year, but there wasn't much use for series trophies just yet at the time that I wanted to make this video, and yesterday they did release the John Madden Coach, guys. And John Madden Coach typically is the biggest need for Series 1 trophies. Now, some of the best ways aren't in the game right now, such as a house rule, so in case you see this video later on, if there's a house rules out, that's probably the best way to get Series 1 trophies, or one of the fastest ways to get them, because they usually just toss them as a side objective involved with the game itself. So if there's a house result by the time you're seeing this, make sure you guys are checking that out as well and see what the rewards are. Could be, could not be. It really just depends on the house rules and how generous EA wants to be. But there's a few ways right now to really just be uh, just grinding out Series 1 trophies. See, the, newest, the beginning of a new series is the easiest time to earn trophies. And lucky for us, it's the beginning of a new game. So kind of applies the same way here. Now, guys, before we get into the new video and we go over all the ways to get over the Series 1 trophies, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn that on, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below and let me know what you guys think of getting trophies right now. Are you guys liking? Are you guys want to do a trophy grind? Have you guys started the trophy grind? Are you guys using it for much right now? Also, quick little tip of advice: if you guys do end up getting a lot of series one trophies, make sure you do use most of them before the series ends, because when a series ends, you do lose half your trophy. So if you have two thousand trophies, it gets cut in half to a thousand. Now, we probably won't see a new series until late September, early October, regardless. But just giving you guys a heads up now, because time really does fly, whether or not you realize that sometimes. It really would just go by super fast. You won't even realize that we're almost in the next series. But, guys, get into this video. So, first way you want to go about getting series trophies, guys, is come over to the objective list and focus on your month dedication and come down to series for multiplayer mission. Now, guys, this right here is a quick way to get coins and an easy way to get trophies while just playing the game. So win games of headset seasons, squad versus squad seasons, mutt champions, mutt rank draft, or salary cap to earn progress on these tasks. Completing this list will earn you an additional 100,000 coins. So remember, you do get the added benefit of getting the coins on top of that. So do keep that, do keep that little incentive there in the back of your mind. And then come over here. So it's a win, one online game, win five, win 10, win 15, win 20, win 30, win 40, win 50, win 75, win 100, 125, so on and so forth. You guys get the point. So each one does bring forth a new um, reward here. So you might think 200 multiplayer wins is a lot, but guys, trust me. You play you play six games a season today, right? Not that hard. You play six over the course of a month per day. That's 180 games. Now, odds are, guys, on a Saturday, during weekend league, you play 25 alone if you play the whole weekend league. You play some mud squads with your friends at the end of the night. That's another, like, four games right there. You play some mud drafts. That's another four games. Like, it goes so fast. And you have plenty of time to do this over a month at least. So, for the most part, guys, it goes super fast. Uh, when, I, when weekend league's going on, if you play a whole month worth of weekend league, that's almost, that's 100 games right there. Not And that's just a weekend. Imagine including all the seasons games you play and all the other stuff. Early quits. Like, if you get three quits in a day, that's three wins plus four real games. And of course you have to win them, so I mean the only issue could be if you're not really great at playing Madden online, or you're not good at using the whole meta thing, or you like to play the way you like to play and that just doesn't work online. I can see where the issue may arise there, for the most part. But uh, moving on down, if you add all these up guys, you do get 10, 30, 30, 30, 30, 60, 60, 60, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120. I believe I did the math, it comes out to about a little over 900, 930 ish. So that almost is enough to pick up the John Madden coach. Well, it is enough to pick up the John Madden coach. It's almost enough to pick up a trophy and a half or a collectible. You can get one John Madden collectible, which helps you get some of the chems. And I'll show you guys that in a little bit. But you also get like an extra 300 on top of that because you're only 600. So you end up with almost half of another one. So just doing this multiplayer list right here could get you on, on path to getting almost a collectible and a half. And here's the other thing while doing that mission, while getting that done, you probably have earned a lot of other rewards. So let's say you did it through seasons. Seasons in its own right does give you some pretty good rewards in terms of that as well. So let's head over to that and let's go to, oh, is it under, is it under? Okay, so right here. So if you're in the rookie division and you get, you get seven wins in the regular season, which is very, very simple, you get 30 trophies. Doesn't sound like a lot, but that seven wins combined with the, uh, the dedication leaderboard list, which shows you all your wins, plus this is 30. Then you make the playoffs, you get a win or two, that's another like 15, 20. You maybe win the Super Bowl, that's like another 30. Then you move on up to pro, that's 30. Seven, uh, veteran, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40 50. You, most people just playing the game usually get around here at least. So you're going to be getting the 40, plus you're going to get in the playoffs. So you can easily grind out per season. You can play a season a day very simply. You can easily get about 40 trophies a day from seasons, plus the playoffs, so you can do decent there. You can probably get 50 trophies a day from there. Combine that with the trophies you're getting from the dedication list, you can easily earn about 100 trophies a day, very simply, if you actually grind out seasons like that. If not, it could be 100 every two days, it could be 50 every two days. It really depends, but either way, your trophy grind is not that hard to do. 
And then as you move on guys, you can also do solo battles. Now remember solo battles is also a great way to get them. Now solo battles is not live yet I believe, but if you can do solo battles weekly and get like a 50 to 100 trophies from there, plus go ahead and do seasons, get like 100 trophies or 200 trophies a week from there if you play enough of it. Let's just go with, let's go with 100 trophies for the, the lighter gamer. 100 a week from there and then weekly you could easily be looking at a little over 250 to 300 trophies a week if you do play your weekend league your solo battles and your seasons and that's not including mutt draft and, and uh mutt squads because i don't always consider those not everyone plays those but if you do play those there's another way to add up some more especially mutt squads because you can play with your friends which makes it a lot easier and a lot less time consuming in your own head because you're having fun while doing it and then of course guys there's also house rules so if they do drop a house rules house rules typically is pretty cool with that because like every it'll be like every five wins is a, a trophy reward so every five wins is 10 trophies so that's actually that adds up very fast potentially so if you play like 20 of that there'll be 40 trophies and the reward free reward you get regardless is 20 wins so either way you're gonna do it so it's some free trophies or it'll be every pack and give you free trophies so pretty much right there, there's plenty of ways to get it done now if you want to go into i would like to see mutt draft also because that one coin making method i had for you guys on the channel you guys would check that draft that out it's a great way to make trophies and also make coins at the same time so if you check right here if you do the method and you stick with the premium rewards you could get 60 trophies per method and that'll only probably that only probably take you like two three hours and you could do that like twice a day if you let's say you do it once a day at 60 a day you can do that you know three times a week you can get 180 a week extra on there as well while also simultaneously getting yourself a little over 100k coins plus the packs that's really not bad at all you could probably get close to like 180k coins plus about 180 trophies and be able to still come away with that barely taking up any time during the week on top of the other stuff now if you want to stick to the standard rewards only 30 trophies pretty much everything's cut in half i recommend you stick to the premium rewards and then of course if it does start getting too hard because you rank up in division more you can always just yeah i wouldn't recommend a side account for this one because the trophies on a side account will be lost you can still keep the coin reward but the trophies will be lost so don't grind out trophies on a side account there's no way of transferring them transferring those over let me just show you guys real quick the rewards I was referring to in terms of why you're really in search of these trophies. And it's going to be the John Madden as well as the free packs you get and stuff. Well, not free, but the packs you can get from there. If you come to competitive, uh, you're going to want this John Madden collectible and the John Madden coach. Once you have all of that, you pretty much have extra trophies per series. Let's say you come to the end of a series and you have an extra thousand trophies and you don't know what to do with it. You can always open Wheel of Coins packs. They're 1k to 50k random per pack. They only cost 25 trophies. Uh, if you have an extra thousand, you can open up about 40 of those. You can open up some Hail Mary packs or even a touchdown pack for the guaranteed um, quick sell that you do get from this pack, the 50k quick sell. So 50k coins. Essentially, you can get about 50k coins about give or take seven or eight times. So let's go seven times. So if you can do it about seven times, you are looking pretty good. Six six times more, more or less. So you can get about 300k worth of coins off that, off an extra thousand. And because they do cut it in half, so you guys really don't want to be wasting your time and um, get, like getting all those trophies and letting them just cut them in half for you. So that is why you really want to be on top of using your trophies after each uh, before each series does end. But that's about it, guys. There's no series master, so for now, you really want to be focusing on Coach Madden and his collectibles. And once you get all these collectibles done, guys, there's so many, though. There's five of them times six. That's 3,000 trophies. You have plenty to grind for before you have to worry about that. But if you do end up with extra, you're an animal. If you get over 3,000 trophies a series, if you do that, uh, you can always use it on one of these. Or you, if you really want, let's say you have 2,000 and you want to have 1,000 head start towards the next series, you can always let them take half. But a lot of trophies to lose. I think I'd rather just cut them down and rebuild it up. Get some value out of it for the most part. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're into the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn that on, you boys. Come join the family. Make sure this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know how many trophies you guys have right now. And if you guys have any John Madden collectibles yet, based on how much you played online. But that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of the video. Peace.